Welcome to the exclusive Ask the Preacher program for the P.P. Simmons YouTube channel. I'm Pastor Carl Gallops, and I'll be your host and biblical commentator as we explore another hot topic from the Word of God. In this segment of Ask the Preacher for YouTube, I will address the delicate and controversial topic of masturbation. Many have asked for solid teaching on this matter, and the folks at P.P. Simmons are not afraid to address the tough issues. There seems to be an awful lot of misinformation, misunderstanding, and false teaching on the Internet about this issue. Not surprising, though, since the Internet opened up a whole new world of demonic opportunity for people to engage in all manner of sexual perversion in what they think is relative privacy. This topic could be addressed for an hour or more, but I will purposely keep this segment short and to the point. Please be brave enough to hang in here with me. Let me start by being biblically honest. There is no scripture that directly says, Thou shalt not masturbate. But that's okay. There are many things that the scripture does not address directly by name, yet the principles and precepts are in the Bible when a contextual examination is done. So let's begin with a definition. What is masturbation? It is the self-stimulation of one's own sexual organs, often leading to orgasm. In other words, at its basest level, masturbation is having sex with oneself. Having thus defined it, let's ask another question. How is masturbation most often engaged in? In other words, how is the arousal necessary for masturbation stimulated? Every scientific study of this topic confirms that the vast majority of masturbation involves the use of pornography or mental images conjured up through exposure to pornographic materials, movies, games, illicit sexual activity, or sexually stimulating literature. Now, we have to address the issue of pornography, the mind, and lust. These three go together. The pornography industry feeds the demon of lust. Of this there can be no dispute. So the question really is, does the Bible address lust? Oh yes, of course it does. It is undeniable. The Bible addresses lust of the eye and lust of the flesh, both types of lust oftentimes necessary in the act of masturbation, are addressed prolifically in both the Old and New Testament. Lust is defined as sin. It is defined as a particularly devious sin and one which to avoid at all costs. Jesus even used the hyperbolic illustration of plucking one's lustfully offending eye out rather than suffer the consequences of offending the truth of the Word of God in this matter. Yes, the Scripture takes lust seriously. Consider further. If one is not married and one is engaging in masturbation, could it not be said that one is engaging in premarital sex, sex with oneself, as well as with the mental images conjured or before your eyes? Sex before marriage is called fornication, and it is called sin. On the other hand, if one is married and is engaging in masturbation, then these conjured mental images or images before your eyes are tantamount to engaging in sex with someone other than your spouse. The Bible calls this adultery, again, a particularly grievous sin. Also consider that many use the excuse that masturbation helps them to release sexual tension. Here's the problem with that argument. It has been shown over and over in various medical studies that masturbation actually increases the overall libido rather than decreasing it. There are some studies that show that frequent masturbation is actually agitating to the male prostate gland over time. There is another part of the sexual frustration argument, though, that needs to be addressed. Why do you have so much sexual frustration? What have you been feasting your mind upon or your eyes upon? or your conversations, or your forms of entertainment upon. You see, sexual frustration only comes about by immersing yourself in sexual things. Let me remind you, you do not have to have sex of any kind in order to live. It will not harm you or your body in any way if you do not engage in sexual activity. Your sexual system and its components could actually be removed and you could continue to live and function just fine. In fact, it's the only system within your body of which this is true. Sexuality is a matter of choice. It's a matter of self-control. 
This is why the Word of God establishes governance over one's sexual activities. The child of God is admonished again and again in the Scriptures to practice self-control, for this is what pleases the Lord. Let me ask you a question for you to privately ponder. If masturbation is okay, then why do you do it in private to the point of hiding? Why is there shame and guilt associated with it almost every time? Why does it consume your mind and time and psyche? Why do you continually, to the point of frustration, seek to justify the act of masturbation? You see, the matter is demonic. It is a stronghold. It is a grip upon one's life that is displeasing to the Lord. Look, I want you to be blessed in life by the Lord. You may need to change some lifestyle habits or computer habits or computer location within your home or entertainment habits and sexual thoughts and conversations. All of these are matters of choice on your part. The decision is yours, but masturbation cannot be justified with the Word of God. It just cannot be. There is more to be said on this topic, but this teaching covers the foundational basics. Here is what the Bible says from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, beginning with verse 17. But he who unites himself with the Lord is one with the Lord in spirit. Therefore, flee from sexual immorality. All other sins that a person commits are outside of his body. But he who sins sexually sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is within you, whom you have received from God, and you are not your own? You are bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. I pray that the Lord uses this particular teaching to bless you. And if you are under the grip of masturbation, I pray that the Lord will use this to release you from that demonic stronghold. God bless you, and thank you for listening.